Alright, so I posted this photo on Instagram and literally just when I uploaded it, everyone asked me where I bought the top that I was wearing. Well guys, I actually made it. by TikTok and YouTube videos of these very creative people transforming their old clothes and also doing DIYs. So I thought, why not grab some of my old clothes and make those really cute and trendy outfits and clothing pieces that I've been seeing all over my Explore page on Instagram and some from online shops in the US I don't have access on as of now and some that are even really, really expensive. Like guys, kahit ang gaganda nila, I will never buy them. So this is just me showing you guys that there are a lot of ways on how you can have access to cute and trendy looking pieces without breaking the bank and also being sustainable. By the way, you can do this with just fabric glue or hot glue or hand sew it yourself or if you have a sewing machine, use a sewing machine. Alright, so without further ado, let's get sewing. one but the fit is quite awkward so the awkward do fit nito sa akin and i feel like i can make it more flattering on my body and make it a little bit more trendy since i already love the color so i'm gonna be cropping it like this cardigan of mine then to yung length na crop ko siya and then i'm gonna be repurposing the excess fabric and make it a tube top para matchy set siya na top so we'll see how this goes this will be my first time to DIY something, so I'm hoping for the best. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my crop cardigan as a guide of where I want to crop it. And I suggest you guys to use a sharper scissors just so you'll have an easier time cutting fabric. And in the end, you'll have two pieces like this. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be turning this into a cardigan, a crop cardigan. And I'm gonna be um, cutting it here in the middle so that it will open like a cardigan. Okay, so to turn this into a cardigan, I'm just gonna be eyeballing it and cutting it straight down the middle and it should look like this. Okay guys, so I tried it on and oh my god, it's looking so much better already. I love the length of this one. So now I'm just gonna be um, putting some pearls here para pwede mo siya masara. Ayan, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Ang pangit niya tingnan, but trust me, it's gonna look good. So last night, I ko tong jewelry box ko and I found some stuff here and some pearls which I can use. I love recycling these and I think sa classic ko to hindi ko na yung nabalik sa kanya. But hehehe. <laughs> and this one, I think it's a necklace or a belt. I don't know from when, but it's so cute. I love the pearls and I can use it as buttons dito sa top na to. So at this point, you have an option to like hem or stitch these parts, yung mga ends ng pinagkatan nyo. But since it's my first time using a sewing machine and I don't know how to use it, I'm just gonna be getting my best friend. This is um, fabric glue. And based on what other people say, it's effective. So I'm just gonna like stick this part dito, gagawin ko siya para ititiklop ko siya so, para hindi siya mag-fray up. Okay, so this is fabric glue which I got from Shopee and I'll put the links in the description box of everything that I have here and I'm just gonna be putting a little bit on the sides of where I cut it just so it won't fray up. Okay guys, so the fabric glue thingy worked. So I just folded the side a little bit and then glued it. Like, sobrang liit lang para ganyan siya. And when you put it like this, see? Okay na siya. Hindi na siya fray. Fray? Is there such a word? Pero hindi na siya like fray just like this. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of the ends. Okay guys, so now let us move on to the buttons and the holes. So I'll be putting the holes on the left side and then the pearl buttons here on the right side. And then I don't know kung ano gagamitin ko na pearls. Ito medyo rose gold. 
Ito. Or this one. Na white lang. Parang cute yung white lang. Pero mas gusto ko yung laki na to eh. I don't know. Okay guys, so I decided to use the mini white ones instead of the rose gold ones. Just because mas maganda yung color kapag ganyan lang. So, I don't know kung ilan yung kailangan ko kasi mas maliit to kaysa doon. Pero, yan. I'm just cutting up this jewelry and then getting the big pearls. Okay guys, so ayan, I'm not sure kung ilan yung kailangan ko, pero nilign up ko siya. Na panties dito para hindi sila gumagalaw habang tinatahi ko yung um, pearls dun sa cardigan. Pin ko na siya lahat. And then, now I'm gonna thread these pearls. Okay guys, so I did the first one and it turned out well. Ayan, ganti yung harap and then ganti yung kabila. Oh my god, it looks nice. Okay guys, so for this part, I'm just sewing the pearls into the cardigan to make it as buttons and making sure that it's secure. And I don't really know how to explain this part, but it depends on the button that you're gonna use on how you're gonna sew it in the cardigan. But here, I'm locking it and making sure that it's secure. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I just finished the pearls in the cardigan. And it's so nice. Ang ganda niya. Sobra. I really like it. Now, I'm gonna poke some holes here on the left side of the cardigan. Look, it's so pretty. Oh, my God. I'm so proud. Proud na proud ako sa sarili ko as of now, guys. It's so nice. So for this one guys, it is really important to make sure that your pearls or your buttons are lined up accordingly so that you'll know where exactly to poke the holes. And here I'm just using the tip of my scissors to make the holes because if I cut them, I think it will be too big since the fabric of my cardigan is knit. So I just tried on the cardigan. Oh my god guys, it's so pretty. I love it so much and pwede nyo din siya tanggalin. Para mas open. Wait. Like, if you want it to be like that. It's so nice, guys. Ang ganda nung details. So, we are now done with the cardigan. I'm gonna set it aside. And now, we're gonna move on to this top right here. And it's quite big. Kasi ito yung parang lower part nung sweater earlier. That's why I'm gonna cut it. And then, resize it. Kasi stretchable din yung fabric. So, sobrang laki na to sa amin. And then, I'm gonna use this... I think this is a ribbon lang, a random ribbon that I found. And then, I'm gonna create a ribbon and put it in the middle of the tree top. For this, guys, you can use fabric glue lang. Or you can either hand sew it. Or if you have a sewing machine, you can use a show sewing machine. You can use a sewing machine. So, since first time ko rin nagamit ng sewing machine, I'm gonna try it out dito. So, wish me luck. So, first step for this tube top is babalik ta ko siya, guys. And then, I'm gonna be cutting it along the seam. Okay, guys. So, now I'm gonna measure this on myself. And let's see kung hanggang saan siya. Mas stretch dapat. So, dito natin siya ikapat. Ito yung excess fabric natin. Okay guys, so I've done my research on how to use the sewing machine and uh, let's just hope for the best that this won't be a fail. So, let's get sewing. Alam nyo, mas madali ito kung hand sew. Ha? So, gusto ko lang talaga to i-try. Pero, you can definitely just use fabric glue guys. Just stick these together or just hand sew it by yourself. So, my camera stopped while I was sewing. Anyways, the top is done. And now, I'm gonna be putting this ribbon up here. 
ito lang so that it has a little detail. Okay guys, so I made this ribbon out of a small piece of fabric and then I'm just gonna be sewing it in the middle of the tube top. Oh my god, you guys! Oh my god, it's so pretty! Oh my god. Wow. The details, look at that. I love it. I love this. So we are done with that set and I loved it so much. So the next and last top that we're gonna be doing today will be this pastel yellow cardigan. And my inspiration for this will be those tie up front shirts. So we're gonna try our best to make this look even better. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cropping this one, maybe longer than the cardigan that I did earlier, and then I use this like band thingy as a headband because I don't want to waste it. Also going to recycle these buttons. I'm gonna keep them for my other projects since you'll never know when you'll need a pastel yellow button. <laughs> I'll be using this cardigan again to be my guide. When cutting it, but I'm gonna be having a little allowance. So in adjust ko siya dito, guys. Hindi ko siya sinagad sa taas na kapantay. First step for this top is again I'm gonna be cropping it to my desired length, and then babalik taren ko siya so that I can put fabric glue dun sa ends of where I cut the fabric earlier, so that it won't fray up just like the first top we did. Okay, guys. So now I'm taking off the buttons of the cardigan. So now I'm gonna be putting fabric glue dun sa ends ng lalagyan ng buttons and the buttonholes so that it won't be seen. I'm gonna be folding that inwards. Okay guys, so here is the top and I love how I cutted it. The length is perfect. I just want to make sure that I like where it is ending and yeah, that is the perfect length for me. Dito kasi natin ilalagay yung tie, like the ribbon that goes down. So ayan, it will be like that. Okay, so now that we've made the top itself, now we're gonna make the tie that goes here, yung ribbon. Now I'm gonna cut a piece along the portion that we cut earlier. And lugupitin ko siya ganito kahapa. Two pieces ng ganun. So once you cut the one inch strips of cloth, you're gonna pull it like this para mas stretch siya and mag roll siya and you don't have to um, glue it or sew it. So now we have them both ready, we're gonna attach it in the top. By the way guys, you can definitely stitch the ties if you want or use a ribbon if you don't have extra fabric but I'm just gonna be sewing it or you can also use fabric glue to secure it to the cardigan. Okay guys, so this is the final product. Oh my god, I love it so much. Look at this guys. I love the length of how cropped it is. And then this ribbon. I think it's perfect for the summer. I love the color. So I'm now wearing the top. And now I'm gonna be using this, yung band na tong cardigan earlier, yung nasa baba, to make a headband. Because I think it's gonna be cute. And I think tama yung length na to, to be stretchy and uh, all of that. Which is, I don't know how to make a headband, but we're gonna try our best to make a headband. So, yeah. I'm gonna put fabric glue here and then stick it like this. Kasi, ayoko din naman na parang frayed yung dito sa part na to. And then I'm gonna stick these two together. Hindi ko alam kung gagamitin ko yung fabric glue or I'm gonna sew it myself but I think I'll sew it myself to make it more secure but we'll see. So for this headband guys, it's so straight to the point. I'm just gonna be putting fabric glue doon sa end so that it won't fray up and then I'm just gonna be sewing it together. Okay guys, so I'm done with the headband. I think it looks really nice. Mukha siyang legit na binili mo na headband. Ang ganda nung fit din niya sa akin. And by the way, tinanggalan ko siya ng this much. Kasi I thought that it would be quite loose kapag hindi ko tinanggal yung extra piece of 2 inches na yun. Anyways, now it's perfect. Oh my god, I love this! Ang 
watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first upcycling slash transforming DIY video. If you want to see more, just comment down below and also tag me on Instagram if you ever tried these um, DIYs that I did. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!